What's good? What's good, YouTube? You already know it's City Guys filming. Um, this tutorial is this supposed to be like a beat breakdown tutorial. You know what I'm saying? On this new dance style beat that I made the other day called Platinum Debit. And I'm going to show you step by step, you know what I'm saying, going through, you know, the sounds and how I came up with the melody pattern and stuff like that, the scale I use. So before we get into it, I'm going to play the beat and let y'all hear what's up. We're just going to get straight into it. I ain't really going to waste no time, so let's go. Purchase your tracks today. So let's go through all these stuff right here. Alright, I use the G minor scale, you know what I'm saying? And then I'll go to expand and I use the ancient harp. You know what I'm saying? And this is the pattern right here. You know what I'm saying? But what I did, I actually added halftime to it. Let me take that effect off of it. You know what I'm saying? Then I added a halftime to it. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much EQ. I added a band pass to it. And then I added, if I took this vintage reverb off, it's going to sound like this. Doesn't sound too bad, but when I add it to it, you know what I'm saying? It sounds real good, real good. You know what I'm saying? It sounds way better. Now, for the bells that I have right here, you know what I'm saying? I got it out of Nexus. You know what I'm saying? Blue light bells. You know what I'm saying? Now, how I came up with this melody like this, you know what I'm saying? The same chord progression that I have right here for the ancient harp. I just put it on bells, you know what I'm saying? I just press Alt and A, you know what I'm saying? Everything going randomized. And then I mess around with a few notes, you know what I'm saying? And also, after I did that, you know what I'm saying? I had pretty much EQ to it. And this is what it sounds like. You know what I'm saying? Next is the lead that I have right here. But with the lead though, I still use the same um, melody patterns that I have for the bells and I just copied and pasted for the lead. And then I messed around with one or two notes. You know what I'm saying? Other thing I did differently was just change it to the lead sound. You know what I'm saying? And add halftime to it. But without a halftime, it sounds like this. You know what I'm saying? Then I added halftime to it. Then it's like this. You know what I'm saying? Like when you add a half halftime to it, just put it on the mode section on two on the loop, one bar loop. You, know, you can mess around with two, four. And like if you want to go like straight hip hop or trap vibe, you can use from one sixteen to one fourth. You know what I'm saying? Next thing, I got a snare right here. That's a basic snare pattern. You know what I'm saying? Then I got the other snare. The counter snares. And I didn't do any painting on it, but you know what I'm saying? It's just a basic. Um, counter snare. 
Then I have this other kind of snare right here, but this one I just the velocities and also added pan pan effect to it. You know what I'm saying? And this is what it sounds like. You know what I'm saying? Real dope. I also have the bell right here. Also open hats like a crash thing like you know what I'm saying? Sounds that sounds good I always go good together, you know what I'm saying? Once you got good sounds and you know how to you know what I'm saying, adjust the melodies and cre be creative, you're good. Mixing and mastering comes easy after. You know what I'm saying? I always remember that. Got this is my kick pattern right here. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes on to your melody and your chord progression and stuff like that, like by listening to it, you know how to adjust your kick, you know what I'm saying, and your snares and where to place them, that like, give it that bounce and stuff like that if you want it like that. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to like trap, dancehall type vibe, that's the type of stuff you go for. Now, this right here is an 808 pattern. You know, I added a slide right here, one here, one down here, and there. You know what I'm saying? I just bring these notes up an octave. You know what I'm saying? Like, this 808 is the same 808 that I have in a few tutorials, the little baby 808. But what I did to have this 808 sound different, you know what I'm saying? I got that fru fruity blood override on it. You know what I'm saying? And then I got the destructor. You know what I'm saying? Got the destructor on it, messed around a little bit, then I had a primitive EQ it, add a little boost over here, and cut down the seven knob right there. You know what I'm saying? That's how my 808 sound like that. You know what I'm saying? That trap vibe. You know what I'm saying? My snare roll, first time having a snare roll sounded like this, but you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Then I have my dark bass right here. You know what I'm saying? And my dark bass, I got my dark bass as usual. As usual, you know what I'm saying? My dark bass always be popping out of Massive X. And you already know. And besides that, my B tag and stuff like that. And that's just basically it for the beat, you know what I'm saying? And for the master channel, I just add fruity soft cup on it, and that's it. I'm not going to go too crazy with the master and stuff like that, because y'all already know I ain't an engineer, so I just do shit I was supposed to, and leave the rest of the engineers, you know what I'm saying? I'm just here to make the beat, make sure the beat sounds good, and artists ready, placement ready. You already know. CT Gods. So thank y'all for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Thank y'all for tuning in to this tutorial also. Peace out, y'all right know how we do. I'm also coming up with a uh, midi kit soon, so stay Purchase tuned for that one.